In this Kotlin episode of the Camera 2 API series, we're going to be adding a texture view to our project. And this is the very first episode of this particular series. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, start of a new series here. We're going back to the Camera 2 API, starting afresh, but this time it's going to be written in the Kotlin language. Okay, so we'll make a start. The very first thing we're going to do is just to add a texture view to our project. And before we move on, as you can see, we've got the documentation here. I do recommend you refer to this this particular episode because we're going to tell you how to get the source code to start this because we've initially set up the source code based on the previous tutorial here. This is the fragment series. If I jump across to here, um, there's a tutorial on all the code that we're basically going to be working off here. It's just so I can have a navigation drawer, swipe view and all that just as we move forward in our camera 2 application development. And instead of recoding all that, and it can take a little while, I'm just going to basically extract most of the code of this particular tutorial and start off. So the first step we need to do is to get the actual code here. And so we're going to do that now. So we'll go into our Android Studio. And I'm just going to copy the URL here. So what we want to do here is to check out the project from version control. Just select Git here, because we're working off a private repro for you professional members. I'm just going to paste in here. And I'm just going to call this Kotlin Camera 2 API. And wait for that to complete. We're going to open it. Uh, recommended to use the default settings, select OK. Wait for the project to open. That's, good. That's now built, so now it's a good idea just to resync it. And we'll open up the source code just to double check it's in there. So if you go underneath camera, Kotlin camera 2, and select the main activity. And it's basically based off the fragments tutorial, as you can see here. I just want to highlight a couple of things before we move on. If we go down to fragments here, this is where the first and only fragment file where we're going to be displaying our preview is. I just want to highlight here we are setting up a full screen mode but we will be displaying the uh, navigation bar down at the bottom there. And I just want to highlight one more thing. If we go into the layout here, go into the activity main here, um, basically I'm setting this up to match the full screen of the device. I'm using a Nexus 5X I believe. And um, I'm making uh, the toolbars, navigation views, it's all going to be transparent. You'll be able to see the icons, but everything else will be transparent just to give us a good effect with our Camera 2 API application. Okay, at this stage it's a good idea now to resync your project with the Gradle files. That's now complete, and before you move on you want to see that the application actually builds. So we'll just click the run button, Select OK. And you should just see a blank screen with the little drawer at the top there, but not anything else. Um, we're just keeping it pretty basic for the moment. OK, now let's go back to the documentation here. And we want to add the Kotlin refresh, Reflection Library. This is so we can refer, reference some Java class names. So I'm just going to copy this. And we will go back into our file here and we'll open up our build.infgradle file, the app one. And at the very bottom of that, just paste it in there. And don't forget to resync it. Select sync now. Now we're going to go into our preview fragment file here. And in the companion object, we're just going to tidy this up here. The um, uh, new instance It's basically calls the, uh, what is it, the preview fragment constructor. 
So I'm going to add this JVM static here. And I will press F1, the help on there. And basically, it just, as it says, it specifies that uh, an additional static method gets generated. So when we call this, okay, I want to add one more um, value in here. And it's going to be our tag for logging. And this is where we uh, reference our, our Java class name here, actually. So we'll call our preview fragment, call the class, and we'll get the qualified name for that just to display that in our tag. OK, that's fine for that. OK, now I just want to jump across into our fragment preview. We'll add our uh, texture view in there. So select fragment underscore preview. Okay, this is pretty empty. It has been depopulated from the fragments tutorial, but all we're going to do is add a texture view in there. Select match parent for both of these, and we will need to add a ID as well. And I'm just going to call this the preview texture view just to give it a bit of content context. Okay, that's all we should need to do for that. Let's go back into our fragment. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, before we can use our texture view, we have to wait for it to get initialized and inflated. And to get to that stage, or to listen for that stage, we're going to create a listener. So I'm going to create a new value here. And I'm going to call this surface listener basically listen to when the uh, texture viewer is available to us. Okay, we're going to need to use an object expression for Kotlin and call our texture view. Surface texture and put some curly braces at the end of there. Now it's just a matter of putting our mouse over there and on a Mac I can press Alt Enter, implement methods and I'm sort of on a wide screen here, which is why this disappears. But select all of these, select OK. And I'm just going to close the side window so you can see what's going on there. OK, now we will um, remove all these to dos. I'm not going to use the surface texture size change at all, so I'm just going to remove that to do. OK, for the on surface texture updated, I'm just going to change that slightly. It's just going to return the default return type of a Kotlin function which is a unit so we can just have that to equal unit now we'll move down to the on surface texture view and we're just going to put a bit of default code for that as well I'm just going to have it return true okay finally we get to the one that we want and this is on surface texture available telling us our texture view is now available so I'm just going to put a little bit of a log in there, just call it's def, uh, debug log, put on our tag. And in here, I just want, to, I'll call this, I'll call this texture view, just to give it a little bit of context. Or texture surface, actually. And we'll say the width, let's, because as we can see here, as you can see here, we get the width and the height values. So we'll call the the width, and let's get that value. We use the, uh, in Kotlin, we use a string template to get that. So width, and we'll do the same thing for height. So we just want to see what width and height we get back from that. And I'm just underneath this. Uh, let me just remove this line. Underneath this, I'm just going to create a default function here. Uh, it's just called open camera. So we'll just call that at the end. There will be a, a bunch of code going into that in the following episodes. So make that private. Fun. Open camera. It's not actually going to take any parameters or return anything. But it's what we'll call. And so inside the surface texture available, we will call that open camera. 
Now we just need to um, call our surface listener. We'll do that in the on resume. Okay, so we're, first of all, we want to check to see if our texture view is available. Well, the preview texture view is available. If it is, we can just open the camera. If it's not, uh, we'll call our preview preview texture view, and we'll call the surface texture listener and set that to our surface listener here. And basically, this will do the callback for when our texture view does become available. Okay, and I'm just going to call it halt here. We've actually implemented the texture view as it is. This is going to get used by our preview display. The last thing we're going to do is just run this application and just check in the debugger log itself that it is being created. And we can also check the width and the height there. Okay, so we'll run that. Okay, so the application has started up here. And if we look, I will highlight and extend this. We can see the width is 1080 and the height is 1920, which is good. I want to use the entire display of my screen, which matches those dimensions to display our preview view. And that completes the first episode of the Kotlin Camera 2 API tutorials. And in this one, we just added our texture view to represent our preview display, which we're going to be showing our preview display. And so that is the very first episode of this series. As you can see, what we've got, we've got seven episodes. Last two will be going on to the premium channel. So we are going to be showing five free, first of all, on the site here. And then they will get made available on YouTube a few days later. So the details will be there if you want to pay the flat fee of $10 to get all of those episodes straight away. And that will also include the premium tut tutorials at the the very end there and currently those have already been uh, recorded and they're available as we at now speak all those episodes are available um, for the paid members okay so that completes this tutorial series um, please don't send me any questions on YouTube I just don't have a chance to read them besides trying to put together responses above I will put a link to my code mentor so if you really do need my help and you're willing to pay for it you can look me up in code mentor and also I make all my announcements on Twitter and Facebook as well and I'll put my handle up there if you just want to get notified of those changes as well and thank you for taking the time for watching this one bye for now